Hi everyone, myself Anushri Saran and I am a student in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Florida and I am here to present my wireless communication project. The topic is Bit Error Rate Performance over Fading Channels and Diversity Combining. First of all, I take this opportunity to thank my professor Dr. Deping Wu for his help and guidance. I feel privileged to be a part of his class. Now let us proceed towards the presentation. Fading is deviation of the attenuation that a carrier modulated telecommunication signal experiences over certain propagation media. A transmitted signal travels different paths before reaching the receiver. Superposition of different versions of the signal takes place at the receiver. The signals undergo either constructive or destructive interference at the receiver which causes alteration in the signal properties. Types of fading Large scale fading In this type of fading, the received signal power varies gradually due to signal attenuation determined by the geometry of the path profile. Small scale fading if the signal moves over a distance in the order of wavelength, small scale fading leads to rapid fluctuation of the phase and the amplitude of the signal. Diversity Diversity combining techniques are the most common, efficient and simplest techniques deployed to combat the ill effects of fading. It combines multiple signals received and provides an improved signal. Diversity is an efficient technique as it generates and extracts independent signal paths for communication in a wireless channel. Now we'll go through the types of diversity. Frequency diversity. Frequency diversity is the sending of the same information using two different frequencies of transmission or two different transmitters set to different frequencies. The idea is that the receivers will choose which frequency has the better signal at any given moment and use that as its preferred signal. Space diversity Multiple antenna elements spaced apart by decorrelation distance. Multiple antennas offer a receiver several observations of the same signal. Each antenna will experience a different interference environment. Thus, if one antenna is experiencing a deep fade, it is likely that another has a sufficient signal. Time Diversity Multiple time slots separated by channel coherence time. Transmission in which signals representing the same information are sent over the same channel at different times. Polarization Diversity This technique combines pairs of antennas with orthogonal polarizations. By pairing Two complementary polarizations, this scheme 
can immunize a system from polarization mismatches that would otherwise cause signal fade. In this presentation, we will be discussing three diversity combining techniques. They are selection diversity, equal gain combining and maximal ratio combining. Let's start with selection diversity. In this technique, if suppose there are L antenna signals, then only the strongest signal reaches the receiver. It samples L antenna signals and sends the strongest signal to the demodulator. Typically, we get 10 to 15 decibel of gain for 2 to 3 antennas. The figure shows a setup of the selection diversity. Outage probability is the probability such that the signal to noise ratio for any branch goes down below the threshold signal to noise ratio. Disadvantages of selection diversity The disadvantage in selection diversity combining technique is that it is not the optimal method of implementation as it does not take into account all the received signals simultaneously. Also, as the number of antennas increases, the power gain reduces. This is the curve between the bit error rate and the signal to noise ratio for a selection diversity technique. Now let's discuss maximal ratio combining. In this technique, signals of every branch are co-phased and each signal is weighed individually to give the optimal SNR at the output. The weights of the branches are achieved after co-phasing. Optimal weights are proportional to branch signal to noise ratio. The figure shows the maximal ratio combining setup. This is the expression of the probability of error for maximal ratio combining. As we can see, the expression, it is inversely proportional to the signal to noise ratio. Thus, it decreases inversely with the lth power of signal to noise ratio. This is a figure showing bit error rate versus the signal to noise ratio for maximal ratio combining technique. Equal gain combining. In this approach, all the branches are given equal weight. The branches are co-phased and added together on the receiver side in order to prevent signal cancellation. This technique is easier to implement than maximal ratio combining, but its analysis is harder than maximal ratio combining. Summation of signal to noise ratio gets complicated for more than two branches. Equal gain combining is about 1 decibel worse in performance than maximal ratio combining. The figure shows the setup of equal gain combining.
This is a plot between bit error rate and signal to noise ratio for an equal gain combining setup. So what are the conclusions? Diversity is a powerful technique to overcome the effects of flat fading by combining multiple independent fading paths. Both selection combining and maximal ratio combining techniques significantly reduce the impact of fading. Selection combining versus maximal ratio combining offer different levels of complexity versus performance. The maximum improvement in bit error rate performance is given by maximal ratio combining. Now let me take you to the implementation using MATLAB. These are my codes. This will take some time. So here we can see the effect of fading on the bit error rate performance. It is a plot between bit error rate and signal to noise ratio. Now I am running the code for selection diversity. This is the bit error rate versus signal to noise ratio curve for selection diversity in a relay channel. Now I am running the code for maximal ratio combining technique. This is the curve obtained between bit error rate and signal to noise ratio for maximum ra maximal ratio combining in relay channel. Now this is the code for equal gain combining. So this is the plot obtained for equal gain combining. We observe that the best performance is offered by maximal ratio combining. The other two techniques selection diversity and equal gain combining also offer good performance but they are slightly lower than maximal ratio combining technique. Thank you for watching my presentation.